All right, this will be the last video I show for databases, as most of them are, are very similar to what I've shown you in the last five or six videos. Uh, but tonight, I want to show you the one for JSTOR. Now, JSTOR is uh, an interesting database to use. It certainly has a lot of information available to you, um, but it was built uh, with the intent on having free access. So articles that are in JSTOR are typically available uh, for free. You don't have to have a, um, a subscription to the journal itself to have access to whatever's in JSTOR. So it's hit or miss, but it actually goes pretty deep. And almost everything in JSTOR is academic related. So uh, this is what JSTOR looks like. Uh, you can access it from uh, either at home or on the, um, on the network. And what we're going to look for here is we're going to keep with the theme of capital punishment and deterrence. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lead this to just articles. We can say a date range, but right now I think uh, I just want you to get into the habit of utilizing this. So let's search that. Okay. So we have 15,400 and 15 journals. Uh, not all of these are going to be useful journals to you. Uh, in fact, uh, some of them are going to be not useful at all. But let's go ahead and, and narrow down our date range. We were saying from 2016 to 2017. Whoops. And uh, yeah, that's fine. We're just going to update those results. And that cut out quite a bit of them. Okay. Uh, in fact, We've seen some of these articles before. Um, in fact, I think I have that one right there. Capital Punishment and Deterrence, Understanding Disparate Results. Uh, that's that article, I believe. If I open that up, let's see what we get. Yeah, we'll open it with that. What do we get here? Oh, look, it is the exact same article. So we know we're on the right track with our search, our search parameters. All right, so now that we're on the right track and we know this is a good thing, uh, we can come in here and start looking at some of the other things we may not have found earlier. Now, this particular author has written one article here and one article here, Stephen Durlauf. Uh, Stephen Durlauf is actually a well-known well author. Uh, but if you wanted to know what else Stephen Durlauf has written, like maybe, for instance, um, he has his entire background in capital punishment, you can click his name. JSTOR is one of the few places that will show you all of the articles written by a specific author at a specific time. Uh, it's really, really good in terms of this aspect. And so if you, if you know that you see an author that's writing a lot about capital punishment, like that one and that one, and well, maybe just those two, but you get the idea. Uh, it's just another way for you to search uh, under a specific title. If you found an author has written your perfect source, uh, go ahead and search that author. Okay, so let's take, we, we've already got this author. We've already got this article. Let's take this article because we don't have this one, I don't think. Model Uncertainty and the Deterrent Effect of Capital Punishment. Let's just open that right up. And in here, we should be able to read the abstract pretty quickly. Oh, there's the article itself. We don't even need to, we can just read the abstract here, this, this first section. And if, again, if this isn't what you're looking for, move on to the next article. Uh, but for the argument's sake, we're going to say it is. Um, also, you have a bunch of topics here, capital punishment, statistical models, uh, behavior deterrence. You can just click those keywords in a new tab and it'll pretty much pull up any article or source that has capital punishment as a keyword. Now, that can take some time because JSTOR is huge. Uh, we came up with 6,102. We can limit that to journals uh, and we can limit that from 2006 to 2017. So again, just another way for you to search quickly uh, and you might find some things here that you didn't find uh, in, in some other way. Okay, getting back to this article. Um, I like to copy the title I'm going to download the PDF. I accept the use of JSTOR's terms. As a student, you've already accepted the use. But here's the article. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-
once it finishes downloading. All right, um, and you can read the article here, and that's all fine. And I want you to for your uh, for your annotated bibliography. And what we're going to do is we're going to erase this name again, and we're just going to put .pdf at the end of it. So that way, again, we know the difference between the articles that we've downloaded and not just some random number that the database assigned. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to cite this item. So. Uh, and if you notice, RIS is an option right here. And just do that. that again, that RIS is the best way to go for these things. And it downloaded it in some weird number again, because databases do that. And I'm just going to rename that the title. Okay. Research methods, I now have uh, the model uncertainty article and the RIS file. Um, again, I know I haven't shown you, but these RIS files are going to come in very, very handy in just a very short amount of time. Okay, so this is JSTOR. Uh, spend some time in this. JSTOR is an extremely useful set. Um, again, it's a little hit or miss depending on who's given access to what. Uh, but once you're in JSTOR, and once you've got a couple of articles, you can search by author, you can search by keyword, uh, you can search related items. You can even go back to the journal and find out what years JSTOR has and if there are any other articles like them. So don't knock out JSTOR uh, just because EBSCOhost was the first on your list. It's an extremely useful tool. Uh, it's, it's probably one of the best tools in my, in my pantheon of uh, sites that I like to go to. Uh, so give this a shout and, uh, and try it out. Make sure that you've, uh, you've given this a good look-see. Okay, I hope this has been helpful to you and I'll see you in the next video. All right, thanks everyone.